Hundreds of people are expected to testify at the state capitol tomorrow about two newly proposed bathroom privacy bills. We're keeping score. That's five now. These two new ones would require people to uh, use many public bathrooms and locker rooms that are the same as the sex on their birth certificate. New at 5 o'clock, our political reporter Jack Fink says that the issue has now fired up a lot of supporters and a lot of opponents. I'm angry about the legislation. 15-year-old Alex Pettigrew, a transgender boy, is heading to the state capitol to testify at a hearing on newly proposed bathroom privacy bills. I am happy to go down there and testify for my basic human rights, but I don't think I should have to do that in the first place. If SB3 or SB91 is approved, people would have to use the multi-occupancy bathrooms and locker rooms in local government buildings and public schools that match their birth gender. I absolutely support this bill. Kathy Adams, a grandmother and national board member of the conservative group Eagle Forum, says many other people praise the legislation. The grassroots are very enlivened and want this bill fi finished, passed. Adams and other supporters say this isn't about transgender people, but about keeping sexual predators out of women's and girls' bathrooms and locker rooms. Other proposed bathroom privacy bills would also negate all local ordinances and written school district policies as it relates to multi-occupancy bathrooms and locker rooms. But they would allow and encourage school districts to make accommodations for individual students. I think the schools are trying to push the envelope. Pettigrew says he's been allowed to use the men's room at his high school without hearing any complaints. Well, I'm not at school 24-7, so this won't give me current um, protection all the time. It's about protection everywhere. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.